Hey guys, Ari here. Back again, another boundary wall. Got a nice big stretch today. We've managed to pull two pillars, two panels, should I say, with three pillars in at once. Using a new profile setup, I'm just using aluminiums with an F comp clamped over both skins of brick uh, at the bottom. And then I've got a bit of timber bracing it at the top with a with an heavy block just trapping the timber to, you know, off screen. Uh, F clamp on, it's not laterally plumb, so it's only plumbing vertically. So laterally, I've still got to put the um, level on the pillars, all three pillars, but I'm taking away the plumb points for actually building the corners. So I'm just taking away the corner aspect of building the pillar. I'm still having to actually plumb the, uh, you know, each plumb point of the pillar, which I don't mind because I have got one of those mortar, internal mortar spikes, but they don't always work and you can't always get them to actually run plumb uh, with the two, you know, two or three course of brick that's already set out in the footing for these walls. Um, in, in, unless you're setting them out yourself, so then you can, you know, build straight from concrete, which is ideal. Uh, and then you can, you know, set a pro freestanding door profile or something up, but we didn't have that sort of space today. A bit of a cramp set up. Uh, so how it is, how you do these uh, this new sort of setup i've been doing because i've been looking for years how to do these uh, these walls more efficiently and from what i've what i can tell uh working today with old man he was just uh, exclusively uh getting me gobbo it loaded all them all these bricks i think he loaded about 1500 brick out and then he was you know he was pointing up periodically but you know the got more were going up that quick i had to help him out now and again so uh, it was ideal when I came to the back side of this, that I've got a corner building video next time. So uh, you're running your fat in first, obviously it's unavoidable, you've got your pillar in the middle. And then you know, you're know moving your line up at each side uh, when you get to your pillar. And then, because obviously the corner block's on the inside of the profile, not the outside. And then you then you then you're building your racking your pillar back you know i built like six bricks around my pillar and then started racking it back um it's ideal it's ideal to be honest i got this up to you know so many course at first this morning when i first dropped on it um i got this up so many course with a little mini corner so I'm only tailing out you know up to my pillar six bricks around my pillar and then you know racked all the way back I don't even think, I think I did about four bricks around the pillar, racked all the way back and got quite a bit of fat in, uh, you know, a fat of the wall. And then, and then after this, we had, we had snap. I used all that gobble up because I didn't start till quarter to 10 on this, uh, 10 o'clock ish, because I had to do a bit of a day work job in morning, which seems to be a condition on this site. I tend to get all the walls, but the condition is I do all remedials. So, uh, unless the apprentices aren't here, uh, which they weren't here on this this occasion, so apprentices normally pick up the little jobs, but more some of the more bigger remedial work that needs you know a brick layer to do it, you know I have to cop for, which isn't too bad. I'm not bothered. And then as you can see, obviously I've moved line up here, and I'm just filling in the the remaining bits of the pillar that I haven't got. So on this video, you can see I have a corner built at the other side, so I've racked a racked a pillar corner back at the other side. So uh, if I had four aluminiums, I could you know take away. The corner building aspect, the corner building aspect from both sides, which um, I don't have, I don't, I don't bring four aluminiums with me to work. I, I own four, but I don't bring four. So I've racked a big six course, well, it's a six course tail out the other side, rack it pillar back as I normally do, which I've got a video coming up tomorrow of me building, you know, a pillar rack back. Uh, and you know, it, it seemed to speed me up quite a bit. I laid about six hundred bricks today uh, from ten o'clock. Well. Uh, quarter to ten, well, quarter to four. Uh, we were off in, you know, decent time today. I always like to be off before four went all man's with me. And, you know, 600 bricks in that time frame. We had an hour snap in between that. So, so we had, so say, t 10 well, 12, hour snap, and then two well, uh, uh, one well, foot, one well, four. So that's three hours three hours so three five hours so five hours 600 bricks that's like 120 120 bricks an hour that's not bad at all uh, with the profiles obviously add some pillars to add obviously three pillars in this and we've got also uh you know add two watts of level level work corner building so 
There is obviously some level work in between running in this fat, but we're oh, doing exclusively the pick and dip today. I didn't bother with big trowel because it was well hot, uh, so I wasn't going to be picking up the 11 inch spade. Uh, especially when the gobbo, the gobbo was like quite wet, so it's ideal for like a, a you know a traditional style. So, but I was you know I was that flat out today with with pick and dip. I didn't because I was on the uh, I was on the flat side of the wall, so you know I didn't have a skin behind it, so it was easier to do pick and dip. So that's why I utilised it. Especially with old man following me around jointing. Didn't really have to joint up a lot today. I only had to sort of joint up on the straight bits. He tends to joint my pillars for me. So he joints all corner bits, makes a nice job at all arises and, you know, filling in all the get all the gaps. Now we're just basically pointing straight stuff, which were easy to get to. So it was ideal today. Um, like normally to lay this many bricks on my own, I'd have had to do like a solid eight hour day easily to lay 600 bricks and... I'd have probably not, you know, probably wouldn't have been able to do it without, especially without pillar building and stuff. So uh, I'd have probably struggled with the heat as well. The heat slows you down. But to be honest, I was flying today. As you can see by footage, I'm really slashing them in. And then camera ran out after this, after me running a few of these uh, runs. I managed to get like three calls on camera. Uh, and then camera ran out, but then I got to real, real ideal pick and dip. I probably, of course, after this is right where pick and dip becomes its fastest. And then it starts slowly dropping off as you get higher and higher. So uh, probably at belly height, belly button height, it's its fastest. Probably a little bit higher than belly button height, it's its fastest. Especially with tables complementing it. Obviously, I had all three tables set up today. And then I had like a double manual ring set up for the fourth board. So I was sort of using more boards than I normally do. Uh, four board set up. And uh, I think the run, the run itself was about... Excluding the pillars, I think it was like a 30 brick run again. Um, probably like a 27 brick run, but then you had all your pillars and your, you know, and your jut out, you know, your four inch jut out around. So that's that can slow you down, but you, obviously, if you could see, I was obviously walling straight through on every other course where I didn't have to, you know, tie the brick uh, as a header. You know, I didn't have to play like a header tie in. Uh, so yeah, I've seen guys do these all, all, all types of ways using snappers and ties, but. Always got to tie my walls in on this job. Ever since I started for this firm, uh, almost three years ago, uh, I've always had to, you know, I've always wanted the, the pillars building in. And it, it, to be honest, it complements the way I like to build these now anyway. I wouldn't like to go back to doing, like, building the pillars separately to the panels because it makes it a fucking nightmare. You're just building corner after corner. Building it like this, tying it in, you know, it makes them a lot quicker to build if you really get your sense set up, so... All in all, when it comes to profile setup for these, definitely going to be doing it every time. Um, the only time I could see myself not doing um, a profile setup like this is if I've got to, if I've got like a really, uh, if I haven't got an internal corner to put it to, obviously, because it relies on the, you're pulling the line, you know, between the two internals and to, the, what stops it, you know, folding right over is because it's got a four inch return behind it so it stops it but your profile is going to move away from the aris of you know of your four inch of your four inch pillar that's that's sticking out but obviously you're still pulling that manual anyway so it's gonna it's gonna bend out over time as you pull the line as you get higher and higher but uh it doesn't obviously require an internal motor spike or an internal profile uh, f clamp to keep it on so it's accessible by anyone and obviously at the bottom brick where the F clamps start spanning through both skins, I just don't put any more around that one. As I'm jointing, I raked it out and then I knocked that brick out. That was obviously because the F clamps going between where the wall is. I've walled the F clamp in effectively, but I raked all the mortar out, loosened the brick. So as soon as I want my F clamp back, brick comes out, F clamp comes out at the same time as the brick. Everything you know, it's all nice loosened off. So I did that both sides, um, and yeah, it's ideal definitely can't get uh you know i don't know why it took me this long to try this setup but it's ever since that i've seen the timber clamp stuff where you know a lot of guys weren't using the timber clamps or uh you know it's only recently it's become popular with the bt timber stuff and a lot of the time you saw people using goal posts which are very heavy i saw i picked up one of the steel fucking goal posts you know pieces the other day and, you know, they are idea if you have an internal goalpost, you can sit them straight on. So, you know, you could get, you know, you could probably reduce the time 
you know, building these a little bit because you've taken a couple of pump points away. But the downside is they require, you know, a lot of weight to trap so they don't move. And especially I find the steel stuff, when it moves, it fucking moves and you can't you can't move it back. It's it's just awkward. Whereas the timber, you know, the aluminium state, you know, I'd hardly have to check it and because it's just a vertical profile and not like a lateral profile as well, you know, you haven't you've just got one less thing to worry about. And a little tap with brick hammer against the timber and it's fucking it's it's bang on. You can just keep check tabs on it, nice plumb wall all the way up, and you're just taking away a bit of corner building out of the pillars, so it's not a foolproof way to build them, you know what I mean? It's probably faster ways, but with these 440 pillars where, you know, you're getting them every so often, uh, you want to try and limit your amount of pillar building, whereas, like, I'm running this middle pillar in, where with the size of these panels, I wouldn't have ever dreamed of putting an expansion and building it separate, because you'd have took, you'd took your ages. You can really mess these walls up if you do them wrong, so... Yeah, anyway, guys, so... Uh, that, yeah, so we're, I think we're coming to the end of this clip here. It was really a scorcher today, so you know this all. This is what can slow you down as well. Like it's, uh, it's, it's definitely one of them things. Got some burnt the other day, run, running last at boundary wall in. Uh, so I'm all set up for tomorrow. I got two big, uh, fourteen course, racked back, racked back corners ready to hook me fits bricks onto. Gonna run them in 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 the morning. Obviously, I had tactical tub placement on, uh, the first. And the first on the first tub we got today, we had two tubs, and that second tub it wasn't as it wasn't as tactical of a tub placement. So I had to uh, well, all man were jointing, and I dropped off and did a bit of loading up at Gobbo. Uh, got it really wet as well. So this is like killing. Obviously, you saw me see me doing um, uh, pick and dip throughout the whole of this video. Uh, you know, it, even with your Gobbo getting it for red hot summer, you can still do pick and dip with right technique. Um, I definitely, I suppose, you know, I'd, I'd like to say it was a bigger trial if the gobbo was wetter, but you know, I wasn't feeling it today. You don't always want to pick up up some heavier when this trial now is getting towards like a nine and a half inch. This Marshall Town, it's really like sharpening up on the sides, it's becoming more of like a a ties axe, you know, more of a sharper point to it. So it's becoming more of a London than a Philadelphia now. So it's something that really slices through the water easy when it's hot. So especially on these. Especially on the, you know, when you when you just want to pick one one trial mortar up at once, it's ideal. Sometimes I was spreading for two bricks, as you can see here. Went gobble was super wet, but it was uh, it was very ideal on this day. So yeah, um, yeah. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks all for watching. Uh, if I, the support on the channel has been phenomenal, I can't uh, thank any, everyone enough. And I'll put a picture of the profile, how I've set them up at the end. I've put a little screenshot, and then I'll get a snap a picture of the other wall I built last uh, the other week, and I'll just uh, snap a picture of that so you can see it finished product of the other wall. So guys, yeah, uh, I'll be back. I'm back in the footings on Monday. Uh, well, I'm in the footings, so I say I'm helping out the foot the groundwork firm on here uh, on Monday, I think. So you should see some uh, groundwork footage. Me in the footings for a bit. Um, not thrilled to have to go in them, but the you know it's it's better than being on a plot to myself. I'd prefer to probably be in footings than building a plot because the last few plots I've done at Red Row, it's just a bit of a ball eight with the amount of gear you need. So definitely thankful I'm doing footings of a plot. So anyway, guys, it's last one tomorrow Friday. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I wish you a good weekend.